So here's the Kopitar line with Fiala and Kempe on the flanks. He's dumping in. Keandre Miller moves it along. Cut off of the half wall by Kopitar. Kempe turns and fires. Knocked down. Rebound. Kevin Fiala. And the Kings' leading scorer catches in right away. 35 seconds into the game. It's 1-0 LA. Off that first shift. And then Todd McClellan goes with the top line. First man pressure creates the issue. It was the stick of Kempe that prevented that pass from going. Then you have the rebound. Watch the skill here. Watch Fiala get it into a skate. Kick to his stick. Velarde holds the zone. Shot by Walker. Blocked by Schneider. Cleared to the line. Not out. Walker down the middle. Hits the crossbar. And the puck hops out of play. Kings 0 for 1 on the power play against Seattle on Saturday. Their first opportunity tonight. Kopitar to Doughty. All the way across for Fiala to the middle. Score! Kane Velarde with a tap-in goal. Now watch this. All the way across. Fox gets too far. Watch 23. He's right in the middle of the screen. He comes too far over right there. And then he can't recover to Velarde. He tries. He tries to reach with his stick. Sixth multi-point game this season, too, Carlin. He's uh, been, a, as advertised, a great acquisition for the Kings. Anderson Dolan. Bad angle shot. Rebound available. Grab by Shesterkin with the glove. Panarin. Right, a no-look pass into the corner. Lazant and Lafreniere out of the box. Truba shot off the glove of Peterson. In that first period, 13 to six. Yeah. Shot attempts were 20 to 14. Rangers had just one shot in the final eight and a half minutes of the period. Rangers enter the zone. Panarin to the back. Schneider for Jones all the way across. A deep, a shot saved by Peterson on Panarin. Heedle right back in. Lafreniere in pursuit. Finishes the hit on Roy. Heedle spun around. Edler loses his footing. Fiala, or rather, Heedle to the back. They score. Braden Schneider with a knuckling shot towards the King's net. Tough to tell if it changed direction. But the Rangers with a point shot. Talked about the importance of the next goal. And, and there's just a feel there. There's a feel for what happened to start the period. This one doesn't look as dangerous as the two chances the Rangers have already had. Overari outlets Kopitar into the zone. Wrist shot blocked away by Shesterkin. The puck reaches the protective netting. Rasmus Kupari, nice pass with Cali. A full spin, big save, Shesterkin. Second one off the glove. Kupari picks it up, delays, fires. Save just stuck into the end glass. <laughs> yeah. Trying to open things up, trying to spread them out, bring it back almost to your goaltender. Trocek building steam, dodges Anderson, Trocek to the front, chips it in over top of Peterson. Vincent Trocek just looked like he was about to flip that puck behind the net and it drops in to tie the game at two. Watch this entry on the Outside, take it to the inside right here. He tried to move. Dowdy stick causes the redirection. It's a changeup. It's an elevation. It goes into the jersey. You see Peterson, he can't find it. Good roll. Back behind. Yes, Panarin there. Panarin walks it out in front. A shot in tight. Save Peterson. Perhaps his best. Zibanedad. Touch pass. Gets it back. Peterson fights off that shot. Miller. Moves it quickly. Truba down low. Touch pass to Heedle. They score. Capo Caco out in front. And the Rangers with the extra attacker taking advantage of the delayed penalty. They have taken the lead three to two. Executed after pulling the goaltender. Then you just get the wide open in front there. Fortunate bounce at the same time though. So much control of the extra attacker. So much precision passing. So even though it doesn't go in initially, you get that extra. On a consistent basis, they have not been able to show. Now they have 20 minutes here to go back. 
The Kings are above 500. They played a lot of road games. Schedule has been horrendous. We just need to see a little bit more of that. Well, good coverage by the Rangers in neutral ice. Now Kempe slices out wide, gains the zone, drops for Kopitar. Kopitar shoots, saves Shesterkin through a maze. Escaped the zone, that hit the skate of Moore, kept alive for New York. Kako around the net, Peterson out of position. Kako drifting the middle, and that somehow didn't go in. That's the most scramble I've ever seen. I think Cal Peterson spent more time behind the goal line than he did in front of the goal line for a portion of that. And now oh! he got his glove on. Kempe into the zone, drops for Fiala. He gets tripped up, no call coming. Off Frenier, rags with the puck. Bumped along by Fiala, Kopitar, back to the point. Walker shot. <laughs> stick but finally watch us hold hold look at Shesterkin and then there's a redirection Shesterkin couldn't find it I don't know if he's 100% yet but he's getting back Runstrom right on big rebound from Shesterkin collected by Zibanejad and Zibanejad on a set play fires it up ahead Kreider scores Chris Kreider got to the puck in time to beat out the icing I'm making the assumption it hits a stick. Anderson turns. Kreider gets there, but he didn't. If the Kings cannot come back in this game, it's fluttering, it's rolling, but that puck has to be stopped. Lazan twisting and turning, exchanges with Velarde, and the pass gets away from Walker. Could be a breakaway for Capo Kako. Kako moving in. Save! with the poke check. Kapokai has his head up and then you see the stick bother him. See who tried to make that last move. Panarin, the high man on the four check. He asks for a change. Kempe glides into the zone. Poke check by Miller. Stays alive for Velarde. Right to the stick of Miller. He'll take a peek at the empty net. Pass it and leave it for Kreider. And that does it. Chris Kreider cost him 20 seconds and then on the counterattack don't get it deep again so the odds go against you you're never giving yourself that percentage chance as much as the bad goal hurts you mm. and that's what happened tonight Rangers win it five to three their 10th victory of the season